All right. I use the aim controller. So what you definitely want to do first is make sure that you have your VR camera set at least four to five inches above your head with a slight angle looking down. That way when you use the aim controller and you use the iron sights on the weapons, they actually track. Because if you don't, you're going to have a hell of a hard time because PSVR tracking sucks. This is the only way to make it to make the, the aim work like a real rifle where you can aim down the sights and actually use the guns. Because using the guns like in real life matters in this game because it, it's not Call of Duty. You, you're playing VR now, so iron sights matter. You also want to get like a rug or something that you can stand on so you don't move out of that fucking spot. Because once you move out of that spot, you're screwed. Because again, the tracking goes all ape shit and stuff. So you get your rug, get your camera. That's really the, the main, main thing you have to do with this game or any PSVR games, unfortunately. Now go into those VR settings and you want to make the gun scale as large as possible. You want to slide that shit all the way to the right. If there's any other things, like I turn off uh, snap turn, I turn that off. Um, push to run I keep on. Um, make sure you get the weapon scale all the way to the right. And if there's any other tweaks you want, here's the place to do them. Also, also, this is also important. Go into the regular options and into the sound, and there's like environmental sound. Turn that off. That all, all that is is gunfire that's going off in the background, and it, it, it just, it's too much. It pretty much, if you, you can't hear anybody walking up on you, and if someone is shooting at you, you won't hear it because there's constant gunfire um, going off in your your headphones. It's, it just adds to the environment, and uh, it is it will not help you, especially if you're new. It's just going to piss you off. This is the setup for my AIM controller. Um, sure, you could set it up, I think, a, different, a few different ways, but uh, this is pretty much what I use. Um, I like it. It works for me. Okay, the best advice I can give you is don't start out with the STG 44. It's 800 bucks. You only get a thousand dollars each game to start with. If you die in the first two seconds, you're screwed. You're going to be stuck with the Tommy. Go with the LMG. The, the BAR is the best, uh, the second best gun in the game. It's got the range, it's got easy iron sights that anyone can fucking learn. Um, it's probably my favorite gun when I'm not using the STG, but uh, just don't buy the STG for the first round. At least get at least 10 kills before you start buying the more expensive stuff, because you're just going to end up bankrupt once you die two or three times, and then it's going to be hard to come back from that. And everyone who has a better gun is going to be doing better, better than you. Also, the use of cover is very important. I see people all the time just running out in no man's land thinking you're going to take shit when people are in uh, fortified positions and they just die out in the, in the, in the open. It's, this ain't Call of Duty. You ain't sliding into positions. It's like real life. You see this new guy I have coming with me running in the trenches? You're staying in the fucking trench because that's, that's what you do with cover. You stay in cover. You, you suppress and move. And, and that, I, I don't know how to make it any more simple than that. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, you're going to have to play bots. You're going to have to learn the maps because the maps are really different from each other. Some are better with SMGs. Some are better with the long rifles. But most likely all the long rifles do a lot better than SMGs. That's just how it is in real life. And that's how it is when you're fighting 100 yards, you know, 200 yards away. And this game takes great advantage of, uh, of those 100 yard, 200 yard kills. It's a lot of fun. And it's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Also, the thing is not to hide behind red barrels. Red barrels will fucking blow up and they will take you with them. Just like that guy. Alright. Here I'm sneaking up on some guys. But you're going to notice that there's two guys in the trenches. He just threw a grenade. Don't leave the trench. <laughs> If you're in cover, don't fucking leave cover. Here's me charging guys in trenches. Look, I fucking just died right there. You know why? Because cover works. Here's another instance where cover matters. 
If you're going to reload, go by, back behind the fucking cover, reload, and come out and pop a few sh shots out. You don't have to, like, just hold down the trigger, you know, control bursts work, and using the iron sights matters. That's why you want to set up the camera right. But iron sights matter. You can see some of their rounds passing by me, and you can see me just picking them off as they come out in the, the open. If, if you have an SMG and you're trying to uh, shoot somebody at range, and they have a BAR or the STG, um, you're out of fucking luck. It's just how it is, and just that's how it is in real life, too. Uh, Tommy Gun ain't reaching across the field to, to touch anybody. Um, the best secondary gun, the double barrel shotgun, hands down. There's no argument against it. Uh, two shots to the body will drop somebody, and a good headshot will send them flying. Uh, so much fun. Just like this guy. Bye, Felicia. Got somebody. <laughs> Another great important thing is, is when you die and you hit spawn near a squad, sometimes you'll spawn near enemies in death matches. See just how you just spawned with his friend? Hit the random spawn. It will save you a lot of deaths in the long run. Because you're going to get stuck with this shit, the Tommy gun. But yeah, I, I get some kills right here. Headshots are the only way you're going to drop anybody with a Tommy gun. And if you're new, you're probably not going to get a lot of those. Uh, even when you get headshots, if they have a, a BAR and they're doing body shots on you, they'll drop you before you drop them. And the, the Tommy gun's range is not that far. Maybe 50 yards effective. Um, that's about it. If you like SMGs, though, um, I tend to uh, every now and then play them. I really recommend the PPSH-41. It's got a 71 uh, round drum. You could spray and pray all day. As long as you got like an engineer next to you, you know, no one's going to stop you with that. And uh, it's got super, super easy uh, iron sights to use. It's probably the best SMG in the game. The stun isn't bad. Uh, the sights on it aren't as good as the, the Russian gun or the Tommy. But, um... Uh, it's all right. I think uh, for the price of uh, $550, the PPSH41 is uh, a good um, a good starter SMG. Definitely way better than a Thompson. Even if you don't get the problem with the Thompson is you can get body hits and you won't drop somebody, but you'll have to reload, and that's where most people get screwed with the Thompson is that quick reload and they get dropped instantly. Where with 71 rounds in a drum, you just you're shooting all day pretty much. Um, it is the better the better of the uh, SMGs until the grease gun comes out whenever that does. And you know I tend to play more defensive with the SMGs, so you know don't try to like rush a a, a fortified position. Just sit back and just play more on a defensive side, and you'll do a lot better with the SMGs. Other than that, there's, there's not too much you could do with them. And again, the Sten's got like a quick reload and a high rate of fire, but it's, it's got a smaller mag, so... I really recommend just sticking with the PPSH-41. Until you start getting a lot better, then you can just start trying other weapons. So if anything you've, you've taken, start with the, the LMG. Start with the BAR. It's going to be an easier weapon for you. Play defensive. Don't go run and gun because you're not going to you're not going to survive. There are people who have already been playing this game for a while, and they are great shots. Even there's people out there better than me. Uh, play against the bots. Learn the maps. Learn where all the ammo is. Learn where the health is. Because once you, most people don't have a medic on their team, unless you're the person who likes to play a medic. Um, I rarely see games where you have an actual medic on a team. I see him on the other team always, but never on my team. <clears throat> so if, if you don't play against the bots either, you're never going to get better because they're easy to get headshots on, and when playing against other people, that really does matter in the long run. Headshots, uh, staying in cover. Um, if you see them, shoot at them. doesn't matter how... Unless, you know, how far it is. Sh fucking shoot at him. So many people with the BAR and they're running around. And they're, they're running at people when they should be shooting at people. 
if you can see him, shoot him. It's, I don't know how to make it any more clear. And always, always be picking up ammo. Um, grenades, I use them every now and then. I'm not really that good. Um, I've killed myself just as much as I've killed other people. So I, I only tend to use them when I see a tank. And then you can track a tank. It won't kill the tank. But you'll be able to track a tank with a, a hand grenade. Uh, other than that, you're just going to have to play the maps. Because they're constantly coming out with new maps anyway. Um, now that there's the voting system, if you have a favorite map, vote for it. It doesn't matter. And just remember, when you start dying a lot and uh, you respawn and get killed again, hit that random respawn. There's times I've done it and people have said, well, who did that? Who hit the random respawn? And it's like, I don't want to fucking die five times in a row just by spawning into the game. It's not fucking worth it. It's not fun. And it's not fun being in a big uh, no man's land with a Tommy gun. It's just not. I really don't have any other uh, advice to give you except for, you know, aim small, miss small. Iron sights, iron sights, iron sights. Aim for the, the bottom of the chin and let the gun walk its way up the guy's face. Uh, that's the best advice I can give to you. Um, stay in cover. Um, run away from grenades. Don't hide behind red barrels. If you see a lot of people buy red barrels, shoot the red barrels. Um, it's fun watching people explode and you see their limbs and shit go everywhere. Um, other than that, uh, tanks aren't really that dangerous unless you're standing in front of them. Mm, what else? Um, the jeeps can run you over and if you see four guys in the jeep driving around, shoot the jeep. Because if you blow up that jeep, you kill everyone in the jeep. And it's always fun to blow, blow up cars and shit in games. Alright, other than that, um, take care. I hope some of this helped you, especially with the, the camera and the, the, the actual control setup, I think is the most important thing. A lot of people come in and they don't know what they're doing, and then all the, the background sounds of the guns and stuff, just, there's the, the war, you know, this type of game, you know, 15 on 15 in VR is fucking overwhelming, especially when you start getting into the larger games. Um, a lot of people tend to show up around uh, 2 o'clock in the Eastern Time, and especially on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays around 2 o'clock, you'll get some uh, large games, and there'll always be um, two or three people who really know what they're doing, and um, yeah, just stay away from them, stay away from them, stay away from me, because <laughs> we'll, we'll kill you. But other than that, um, if I'm ever on and you, you need help, Say something, and I'll, I'll try my best to help you. All right. Uh, wherever you are, have a good day or good night. Uh, take care, and uh, good luck. Bye. Where is everybody? <laughs> I want to. Sh I want to show you my shotgun.